And now, your first Alert 5 weather. I love this viewer photo. Look, it's a pooch on the porch staying warm under those blankets. He's got the right idea there. No doubt waiting for the dog days of summer to arrive. Shout out to George for that photo. Outside tonight, we have got partly cloudy skies, just high thin clouds out there. With that breeze out of the north, it feels like 16 degrees. Pueblo live downtown from that river walk. No wind. You don't need it. It's cold enough without the wind. Clear skies and 17 is the current temperature. Have you noticed the sun starting to set a little later these days? Well, now that we're into January, you'll be seeing much more of that sun. Take a look at this interesting graphic in Colorado Springs during the month of January. We gained 43 minutes of daylight. Pueblo during the month, you will gain 42 minutes of daylight. Certainly something to look forward to. And hey, if you're a skier, this is something to look forward to. Look at all these snow totals here within the past seven days. Silverton, the big winner, they have landed 54 inches of snow in the past week, but up and down the board, some real healthy amounts. Fresh snow to ski on this weekend here across the Colorado Rockies. All right, our big weather story tomorrow. Backdoor cold front on the weather menu. It gets here tomorrow afternoon. We're gonna have some wind around here tomorrow. Also going to be warmer ahead of that system. We're looking at highs tomorrow, seven to 10 degrees warmer than what we had today. We'll be down sloping here tomorrow most of the day, so it's gonna be dry, but snow flying across the northern central into the San Juan Mountains. Snow is going to pile up, I think, the prime target right there across the southwest mountains of our state. This model may be a little heavy handed with 8 to 12, but I certainly think 4 to 8 inches is a strong possibility by this time tomorrow night. Same in the central mountains up north around Steamboat, anywhere from 2 to 4 inches of snow by this time tomorrow night. Now here's what that wind is going to do. A little gusty tomorrow morning as you walk out the door in Colorado Springs. By far the strongest winds tomorrow right here down across the southern foothills, gusting up to 50 and even 55 miles per hour. Peak wind gust springs in Pueblo tomorrow anywhere from 30 to occasionally 35 miles per hour and that wind is going to settle down nicely right around sunset tomorrow evening. Yes, it was cold this morning. Seven in Pueblo, 15 this morning in Colorado Springs. Those are the coldest lows we've had so far during the new year. Thankfully, with that downslope flow and those high thin clouds providing some insulation, not as cold tonight. 24 in the Springs. 15 the overnight low temperature in Pueblo tomorrow. It's going to be warmer. Nice to see that big 5-0 on the map in Colorado Springs. That'll make it the warmest day so far during the new year. Some of the warmest air will be across parts of the lower Arkansas River Valley. Again, winds a little breezy tomorrow, but that price to pay is going to be that warmer t air that we're going to feel throughout the day. Super seven day forecast in Colorado Springs with that front backing in. It'll be a little cooler Saturday, but hard to complain about 46 this time of the year. We pick up a downslope breeze on Sunday so we warm right back into those 50s, staying very comfortable all the way through Thursday of next week. Pueblo, that's a good looking group of temperatures right there. When 50 is your coolest high in January, you are playing on house money. Roll with it while you can. No snow to shovel, warmer than normal temperatures each of those days. Win-win forecast for January. Canyon City, you're windy and warmer tomorrow. A little setback Saturday with that weak cold front. Then back to downslope breezes Sunday with warmer air. Staying mild all the way through next Thursday. Woodland Park, Sunday will be the warmest day of your weekend. That next Pacific storm could bring snow showers late on Wednesday. It's a long way off, but it doesn't look like it's going to be a big storm at this point. Stay tuned for updates here with First Alert 5.